truth about you. End up like the last nigga I know. Oh, you don't wanna clash, nigga, I know. I put my foot on the gas, head on the floor, hopping out before the vehicle crash. I'm on the road yelling one, two, three, four, five. YouTube, what's going on? So I am in the studio, had a good workout this morning as you guys saw. Now I'm getting ready to uh, start my first mix of the day. This is an artist, um, a female artist, and I am blanking on where she's from, but she sent me her session. It's about 40 something tracks between the, the beat and her vocals. She sent the session over in Logic. A lot of times if I get smaller sessions in Logic, uh, I'll go ahead and mix them in Logic, but I'm kind of slow at it. So if it's a larger session, kind of like this one, then I go ahead and export all of the stems and put them into Pro Tools and mix in Pro Tools just because I'll be way faster at it. But yeah, uh, the song is called What's, What's It Gonna Be? And I'm getting ready to start this mix now. I'll let you guys watch. <music> So the artist told me the type of vibe that she was going for and she wants an old school like Amy Winehouse, uh, Macy Gray type feel. Um, so when referencing those songs, they're not overly bright. They're not like overly compressed or anything like that. They're just a, a warmer, a little darker, uh, just old school type of vibe and um, real like analog type feel. So I'm using the virtual tape machine from Slate to uh, give it more of that warm feel this this plugin really kind of gives you a bump in the low end and then i reduce the speed from 30 inches per second down to 15 which makes it a little bit darker um, so if you have this plugin definitely toggle between those two settings if you're trying to get you know a specific vibe the 30 is going to be a little bit brighter while 15 will be a little darker all right so i've got all of my levels set to where it feels good to me i just um, put a little compression a little eq and the tape emulation plugin on my mix bus and now i'm going to start processing um, i'm doing all of this in mono by the way uh, I'm going to get the lead vocal just as far as EQ and compression where it feels good to me. Then I'm going to start working on the kick and the bass. Then I'll just keep going as I feel. Okay, so I'm working on this mix and I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to kind of continue down uh, the path of showing you guys my compression techniques. So last time I showed you about gain staging and in this video I want to go over how I set attack and release times. Compression is super confusing, or at least it was for me whenever I was first getting started. Really, just until maybe the past year, I've kind of got the grasp of it a little bit better. So, so I figured it might be helpful to you guys if I kind of go into depth on how I hear attack and release and how I determine you know, where I'm going to set those when mixing a vocal. So as I said, I want to go over setting attack and release, and I'm going to do that with a very specific compressor in this case, just because I know the type of vibe that I'm going for on this song. So because of that, I chose to use a Blue Stripe 1176, just because it really gives you a, a more gritty, more colored, uh, textured feel. Everyone may interpret that differently, but I interpret that as old school analogy type of vibe. So um, I'm gonna use this compressor. And real quick, I just wanna show you how I go about setting the attack and release time. And I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like without any compression. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is bring in this compressor and I'm just gonna over compress it 
Um, and what I'm going to do is set the attack all the way fast. So that way it's clamping down as soon as the signal crosses the threshold. And I'm setting the release all the way slow to the point where it's really just holding on to that signal. And uh, yeah, I'm going to compress it pretty hard. Um, just so that way you can definitely tell that it's over compressed. Uh, so let me play that so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, so to me, I kind of hear that like a blanket is kind of laying down on top of my on top of the source. So um, what I'm going to do is play the signal and I'm just going to slowly start backing off the attack time until I'm starting to get some of those initial transients of the vocal, some of the attack of the vocal uh, coming back and the vocal kind of feels like it's a little like it's popping more. All right, so it sounds a little bit more alive, so I'm going to go ahead and speed it all the way back up and let you hear the difference. Oh boy, I've been looking. Versus... Just those initial transients are starting to come out a little bit more. The vocal isn't feeling as squashed. It's still it's still pretty squashed, but it's not feeling as dead. And now what I'm going to do is just start slowing down the release time. Oh boy, I've been looking for someone just like you. I've seen your All right, so that feels pretty good. So I'm going to slow it all the way back down and let you hear the difference. Oh boy, I've been looking for someone. Oh boy, I've been looking for someone. So immediately you can hear that the vocal sounds more intimate. It sounds more in your face. And um, it's still compressed, but it's just not filling. It doesn't sound like it still has that blanket over the top, at least to my ears. Um, and then now what I'm going to do is just lower back on the input. So that way uh, we're not compressing it as hard. Um, I want to stay somewhere between like five to seven dB gain reduction on the, the loudest peaks. All right, that's that feels pretty good to me. So that's how I go about setting my attack and release. I just get real like over dramatic with it to the point where uh, everything is just squashed and just feels dead. And then I start just easing back on uh, my attack until it feels good. And then on my release until it feels good. And then um, I get the, the threshold set to where I like it. So yeah, that's how I go about setting my initial compressor. Um, a lot of times it is a 1176, and then I usually ha follow up with some sort of compression afterwards to kind of smooth it out just a little bit more. But um, yeah, that's a real quick tip on how I set my attack and release. All right, it's about 1130 Saturday night. Yeah, just finished up the first version of this mix. Um, I'm going to sleep on it, listen to it in the car tomorrow. But yeah, I started working on this at like, I don't know, it's five, four, no, earlier. I don't know, it's been a long day working on this mix. Probably spent a solid seven, eight hours on it today. And uh, it's 
at a good spot probably not done i'm sure when i listen to it in the car tomorrow on some fresh ears um i'll hear some things that i want to change but um yeah i'm gonna leave this like this for now i hope all of you guys are, are grinding i appreciate the feedback that i got on the be free video um you know i really just wanted to make that to inspire you guys to to go for whatever it is that you want to do in life it's funny talking to people like uh, on a lot of my one-on-one -on -one Skype calls, it seems like we end up just talking about life. And I like to talk about how whenever I first started doing this full time, I almost felt like I was doing something wrong because it felt weird and wrong to like wake up and just simply do what you enjoy to do every day. So it's weird that I even felt that way because you would think if you only live once, that's what you should be doing every single day anyways. But it's programmed in us from early on when we're little kids to like, you know, Monday through Friday, we're somewhere for eight hours a day doing something that we don't necessarily want to do. And you just go through that as you grow, you know, obviously through school and then you get into the workforce and it's just part of life. But um, yeah, I appreciate all the feedback that I got and I hope that you guys, you know, are are consistently grinding to to find whatever that freedom is in your life and pursue that as well but anyways enough preaching for the night i'm about to go to bed get up in the morning hit the gym and i'm gonna catch you guys in another vlog soon peace